Hey guys, Harry here. How's everybody doing out there? You know what time it is. Time for another food review. And um, I'm from the Midwest. I love Culver's. I haven't eaten at a Culver's yet here in Colorado. So you know I had to stop at Culver's. Now, it's a beautiful day here. Um, I'm starving. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Look at this bad boy right here. Waffle cone. Who doesn't love a waffle cone? I know I do. If I have to choose between a regular cone or a waffle cone, I always get a waffle cone. And she's already starting to drip <laughs> instantly. So with this dessert, you know you have to start backwards. If not, she's gonna be dripping and melting away. But let's take a look. What is, what's your favorite part? My favorite part is the cone. Now, my favorite flavor in ice cream is vanilla. Not chocolate, vanilla. Let me see. <laughs> okay, let me try this bad boy out. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And you might say, why you have your glasses on? Well, the sun is not too good right now. I was actually trying to look for a good place to park to do this because it was so bright. So that's why I'm wearing the glasses. Hmm. Mm. I'm glad you guys liked the last video. Oh, it's dripping wet. Mm. One thing I noticed about Culver's, it's always really busy. Um, and I think it's because everybody loves a buttered burger. I wonder why other restaurants don't have buttered burgers because they're known for that here. And they're also known for their cheese curds. I love a cheese curd, folks. And a waffle cone. Mm. So, where I'm from in the city, they have ice cream trucks, you know, that drive down the block play music, kids run outside, parents give them a dollar. I was one of those kids and you get your ice cream. I'm curious to know if where you stay, where you live, do you have ice cream trucks that, that drive down the block, play music and sell ice cream? I don't know if that's like a, a city thing or it's a Chicago thing, I don't know. But I like to know. Mmm. Melting fast, folks. Let me put this air conditioning on. Mmm. 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 I wish I could do more talking, but you see she's melting. <laughs> I'm trying to eat it as fast as I can before it melts. Okay. Mm. Mm. Excuse the mess on my face. When I eat, I eat. I don't eat like a pig. It's just, look, it's melting. Mmm, I got a good, a good piece of the waffle corn. You know, you know what else is good with vanilla? French fries. If you haven't tried it, try it. Mmm. Mmm. 
I used to be a big fan of of um hmm a banana split but the thing is at least for me banana splits are very messy very big they put a lot of stuff on it it's good but you have to eat it fast if not it gets soggy and it's not appealing and you make a mess so for that matter i just regularly eat a regular waffle cone but for a long time i was a big fan of banana splits mm. Mm -hmm. let me peel this off Mm. Mm. I'm not embarrassed at all about sitting in a car and just eating food. Like a couple of people just see me, they walk by, doesn't bother me. They're probably wondering what's this guy doing in his car talking to himself. <laughs> I'm talking to my friends. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate letting ice cream go to waste. I just when I eat it, I eat it down to the to the last drop. When I normally get ice cream, I get it from McDonald's if their ice cream machines work. Um, I rarely go to like uh, Baskin Robbins um, or any places that sell ice cream and ice cream parlor. Normally McDonald's, and it's rare for me to eat ice cream because a lot of McDonald's, as you know, their ice cream machines never work. By my house, though, where I live in Colorado, I just found out last week that uh, their ice cream machine works. And I'm surprised because nine times out of 10, the ice cream machines never work or they say that they're out of order at McDonald's. So it looks like I'll be eating more ice cream this summer. And I'm sure you guys agree with me when I say, why well, have an ice cream machine at McDonald's if it never works, right? Mm. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, I gotta let you go. I wish I could eat you down to the last drop, but as you can see, I got more food and I'll meet up with you later. Mm. Oh, I was talking to the ice cream cone, hmm. but I think I am gonna finish it because this is my favorite part, the bottom. Mm. Mm. And for those that have asked, I have a scar on my lip. Sometimes it looks like I got punched in my mouth, but I have a scar on my lip. From It's an old scar, my lip got lacerated. So for that matter, if it looks like my lip's a little bumpy, it's because I have a scar. Plus women love scars from what I've been told. That it gives the man a little character. I don't know. Hmm. Have you been to a Culver's before? If you have, I'm sure you agree with me that their, bur their burgers are delicious. If you haven't, I suggest 
you find a Culver's or if you go to a state that has a Culver's and you see one, I suggest you stop by. You won't be disappointed. All right, so I got the deluxe buttered burger. And from the looks of this burger, it looks like the Freddy's burger that I had in the last video. Take a look. I got onions, lettuce, cheese, ketchup, no mayo, I said no pickle. But look at the edges along the beef. Mmm. <laughs> look at it. Hold on, let me take it out the wrapper. Ooh. You see the, the edges along the beef, how, cr how crispy they are? I wanna say Freddy's was crispier, but um, it's the burger, it's the buttered buns for me on this. I love buttered buns, love it. Ooh, all right, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I had to pick between this and Freddy's, ooh, this is a tie break. This is this is a tie. But the burger, I mean, the butter does set it off. It's nice and thick. Two nice thick patties. Red onions. Mmm. 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 Mm. The bread is nice and soft. Mm. You can taste the butter. The patties are nice and crispy, but they're also soft too and tender. Let's take one more look at her. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, honey. Mm-hmm. Another reason why I like Culver's mm. is because of their Coke products. Freddy's didn't have Coke. They had Pepsi products. And you know I love a Coke. Coca-Cola. This is me in my happy place. <laughs> yeah, she's right. This is me eating food in my happy place. Who doesn't get happy when they eat good food? The worst part of eating fast food is when you're hungry. And you, you, you can agree with me on this, I'm pretty sure. When you're hungry, you go eat and you're, they mess up your order or your food's cold. I mean, you, not only have you had not eaten all day, you're in a bad mood and you want to eat and you can't eat your fre the food freshly hot. Uh, there's been times where I wait to get home to eat, but that's my fault. So I take the food to go, get home, and it's cold. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate cold food. The only thing I can eat pretty much cold, I mean, pizza, cold pizza is good. Let's take another bite. Or a cold, um, a cold uh, sub, sub uh, Italian sub, a nice cold Italian sub. I like. Mmm. 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 There's a car dealership across the street. One of those big car dealerships. And this one's huge. I wonder how they do it. If they buy all those cars and then they wait to sell them to get paid. There's so many cars in there. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a quota that they want to, that they want to reach to sell so many cars per month. But to me, I find it, there's a lot of cars in there. It's a Toyota dealership i just find it like wow people buy that many cars it's huge sorry i got my adhd got the best out of me there got distracted <laughs> take one more bite and then we're gonna put her away okay mm-hmm 
Mm -hmm. That's a bang for your buck right there. A good solid burger. I'm in a deluxe state of mind. Mm -hmm. I love everything deluxe. Deluxe fries, deluxe pop. Love it deluxe. Mm -hmm. Go big or go home, right? That's my motto. Mmm. Mmm. That's very good. Wow, I need to eat Culver's more often. I don't really eat too much fast food. I'd rather cook, but, um, you know, when you're in a rush, why not? And when you like to eat, like me, sometimes I, I, be, I eat more drive through fast food here than I normally used to eat. But um, I just love to eat, folks. Ooh. All right. So the last video when I did with Freddy's, they're known for their cheesy curds. And I noticed here, I've never tried them before, but they have cheesy curds here. So I had to get me an order of cheesy curds. Um, I asked the guy what makes it a cheesy curd. I thought it was just a potato with filled with cheese inside but he said it's a it's just pretty much cheese that's fried and battered and fried i'm like oh okay and i have two different sauces i got regular ketchup and i got some buttered ranch buttermilk ranch let me guess if i had to guess the majority of you out there that are watching this and you had to pick between marinara sauce or buttermilk ranch, I want to say most of you would say buttermilk ranch. Am I right? Am I wrong? I would. I want to say if I had to pick before choosing the marinara and the buttermilk, I also would pick the buttermilk. Here we have a cheesy curd, folks. <laughs> cheesy curd, and let's see what the back of the wrapper says. I feel the need the need for cheese i feel the need the need for cheese okay i'm gonna try it plain and then i'm gonna try it with the sauces all right feels crispy feels really crispy It tastes like a mozzarella, it's a mozzarella stick, pretty much, yeah. I'm gonna try it with the marinara. It tastes good, it tastes like a mozzarella stick. So I got my marinara sauce, right? <laughs> These glasses are always falling. I go like this and they're always falling. Ready? Okay. I'm gonna try one more. I wasn't too satisfied with the marinara sauce. It felt tastes a little dry. Hold on. Let me dip it and coat it better this time. Okay, it tastes okay with marinara. And I don't know how many pieces come inside, but they gave me a good amount. There's still, there's, there's about seven in here and in the bag, I, there's probably like another six or seven. I would've thought they were gonna give me like a small order, like six, only six curds, cause they were pretty cheap, but they actually give you a good amount of um, cheesy curds, which I'm surprised. Welcome to delicious, folks. Welcome to delicious. Harry's delicious. Eat, del <laughs> Harry's delicious. I can't even say it. Harry's delicious YouTube channel. Welcome. Everyone's welcome where nobody's judged and our tummies are happy. Love a happy tummy, folks. Love it. <laughs> Ooh. And then we have here our butter milk ranch, folks. And you know why I'm talking loud. It's because I have a feeling this is going to be the winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. 
<laughs> wow, see how instantly I got in a good mood. I was a little hungry. I was gonna cook at home, but I said, you know what? Culver's, or oh, you know what? I'm gonna record it. And instantly I could feel my body in a good mood. It's like food equals happiness, I wanna say. Oh, wow. And I could just feel my mood change instantly. Here we go. Buttermilk Ranch, let's see what she's about. Let's see how good she tastes. First of all, you could tell, look at the, the thickness of it. It's thicker than, normal, than regular ranch. Oops, sorry. It's thicker than regular ranch. The consistency of the sauce. Love it thick, folks. Ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that's it. Buttermilk ranch. That's it, folks. Wow. Yeah, the sun's actually went over already. It was a it was a bad time to record a video, but I still did, and the sun's not in my way anymore. Look at, let's try it again. <laughs> Ready? You want one? You want one? I'm gonna pass it to you through the phone. Put your fingers up. Here you go. Try that. Uh huh. Tell me it's not good. You want me to feed you another one? Come on. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna feed you another one. Ready? Open, open, open. Okay, here you go. Mm-hmm, how was that? Tell me it ain't good. <laughs> All right, now let me get one. Come to Papa, come here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I don't know which one out of the three I like the most. Uh, the waffle cone, the burger, or the cheesy curds. It's actually a good, a good trio, trio to have. They're all good. I give the cone, the ice cream, five out of five. I give the burger a five out of five. Excuse me. The cheesy curds. I'll give them a four out of five. Just because they taste like a mozzarella stick, which it pretty much is. Mmm. 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 Right here. That's where, you know, that feeling when it goes down your throat? That, that's that pop going down your throat? Ooh. Tell me it don't feel good. <laughs> Harry here, happy at eating at Culver's. What I really want to do is I want to go eat at a restaurant, which I haven't done in a while, where I sit down inside. And um, because I've been doing nothing but fast food restaurants, I'm trying to think of a chain that's worth going inside and eating. Uh, I was thinking about doing a Cheesecake Factory um, or maybe I'm not too sure. Cheesecake Factory, some type of, of chain, food chain restaurant where you guys would like me to go inside and, and eat at. Um, let me know if you have anything in mind because I do want to do something either next or within this next month inside a restaurant. So I would appreciate if you guys let me know. Also, excuse me. If you've tried one of these, if you can leave in the comments below put uh, a star if you liked it and put um, a stop sign if you didn't like your Culver's burger. I have a feeling I'm gonna see a lot of stars that comment because if you have, if you try the Culver's burger, I wanna say it's hard to give it a bad rating. It's really, really, really hard. So I just wanted your honest opinion and um, I'm glad you guys are here with me, rocking with me, eating with me. I'm happy, I'm living. I hope you're happy too and you're living. Um, until next time.
Harry here. <laughs> Until next time, Harry here, Mr. Cool Guy, your friend. See you later. Mwah. Peace. <laughs>